Tanner, what do you think of what's going on here? It's kind of scary that this could actually happen, but yeah. I'm glad it's not real. Yeah. What What about it you, you find scary? That there are kids our age that could actually have this happen, yeah. and it happens all the time. Nine. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Like the girl who was sitting in front, she was one of our best friends. And they just carried her out on a stretcher and yeah. had to like break the door open to get her out. So it's it's pretty intense. So uh, you're with the Birchwood Fire Department. Yes. How how realistic is this uh, scene right here? Pretty realistic. Okay. What do you think the kids are getting out of this, watching this? Uh, one drink and drive. Yeah. No, I'd never do it. It's a horrible thing to have happen. I, I don't know. I don't realize people would do it. It's just a mess. Right. Have you ever been in an accident? No. So this is the first you've gotten close to it. Anything about this experience that you'd want to tell other people about? Uh, um, oh, just think twice because you're really affecting other people's lives by doing it. I'm Austin Cherney. Uh, I am one of the coordinators for Project Ghost. And what Project Ghost is, is an alcohol awareness. This year we are doing a mock car crash. Um, I, I personally believe it gets across to students that this isn't a thing to joke about. And then after the mock car crash, we'll have a funeral where a guest speaker from Barron County Sheriff will be here guest speaking. We'll show a video. Then our pastor from the Trinity Lutheran Church will be here reading off the obituaries. And as he's reading off the obituary, the student will stand up and walk out. When the ceremony is over with, Taylor Schultz and I will hand out keys, which stand for keep everyone you know safe. And students can put that on their keychain, so every time they get into their car, they'll remember to uh, not drink and drive. This is a pretty somber event. I don't see too many people kidding around here. I mean, um, what do you think the impact of the scene this will be with the high school students? I know a lot of high school students are. Um, I, I personally believe it's getting to them. Um, they're finally realizing that this isn't a joke. There are some students that think it's a joke, but um, for the most part, most students are taking it as real, that it's serious. Frank Halquist, Administrator for Birchwood Schools. What do you think of this uh, mock, mock accident here at, uh, at Birchwood today? I think it's great because it's realistic. It involves our kids and we had kids plan it. And, you know, we've been real fortunate not to have serious accidents and hopefully this will be a reminder to kids of you know, safe driving behaviors. today. What are your thoughts about it? I think it's important for all the students to know the reality of drinking and driving and the consequences that could happen. This, not a lot of people see this in such detail. You know, a lot of times you, you hear about it and it happens, but this, this really brings it to light in detail for everybody to see. This is pretty realistic, isn't it? It is. Uh, is there anything in particular you think that, that high school students will come away with this uh, particular experience? Maybe one particular thing maybe they hadn't thought of as, as far as what's involved in an accident? Yeah, again, I think it's a, a good eyes view of it, you know, that, that it's a unique opportunity that's not presented very often to a lot of people. In this case, we've got a, quite an audience here that sees it firsthand, um, and it, it's a nice timing because tomorrow's prom, so maybe somebody will think about it before they drink and drive. All right. Thank you. Um, today I was taking people out of the classes, the Kayla. dead people, the ones that are, uh, some of them were in the mock car crash, others are going to be dead after this. So what was the purpose of that anyway? Um, it's to get kids aware about uh, drinking and driving and the whole thing is before prom. 
So the fact that it's before prom is just, it, it's a big drinking night for a lot of, a lot of kids. So this is just to prevent them, and it's quite a strong message. Your name is? Eden Nelson. Yeah. Rihanna Miles. So you participated in this mock uh, accident. You were victims. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was this experience like? It was scary. I don't want to go through that in real life. It was really incredible to be in it and realize that this happened uh -huh. and that people have to learn how to be responsible. Your uh, classmates seem to be very somber during this whole exercise. I mean, there wasn't a lot of joking around or anything. Uh, why do you, why do you, what do you think the, the impact will be of this particular exercise? Um, I think they realize that um, this could happen to anybody and that like it could happen to their friends too. It's a very scary thing. Why was it scary just to go go through this experience? Well, to actually like think about it being real, and it was actually fake, and it was I don't know, it was just scary. Like you don't know what was happening next or anything. You have a you have a tag. What's this tag? Um, it tells whether the person is uh, deceased or needs immediate attention, or um, they like rip off a collar. So what are you, deceased or? I'm immediate attention. Immediate attention. Oh, yeah. Okay.